Hi, my name is Colm. I came third place at the Tala Underworld Gaming Regional and I played mid-range tier element. So I ran an even 40 cards. I played super reserved and here's the list. So it's pretty standard, you know, three Rhino Heart, the guy who sends from deck and lets you fusion summon, he's the water warrior. And then I played the guys that let you fusion. So three Meryl, three um, Sharon, and three Havnus. So all these guys are the Aqua Darks that let you fusion summon and you have to max out on all of them, I think. Um, played three field spell, almost very mandatory with a terraforming just because it's field spell, it's just so good. Uh, we played one instant fusion, uh, three super poly and then two of the trap card so all these are what I consider mandatory in the deck some people like three of the trap card I don't think one is correct but I think this is like the minimum requirement um, so on to the next kind of fusion engine part we have to play three high spirits and one Albion so I kind of misplayed with this at the first uh, couple of rounds because it was my first time playing the deck and I just kept forgetting to add this back but none of these cards are a brick unless you draw all four of them together because Albion can shuffle himself back from the grave, you can fusion summon him away from the grave to make Mud Dragon and this guy just adds itself back and it allows you to just quick play fusion in the likes of a battle phase or your opponent's turn give you interruption, it's just like, cards insane. Um, some of the non-engine spells I ran, I ran one call by and one cyclone as a mine out because I'm a coward and call by never came up but I feel secure having it. Uh, onto some of the more non-engine stuff, I ran five dangers, so we ran three Nessie, one Jackalope and one Mothman. So usually when you see five dangers you see the Mothman is a Tutsunoko, but Tutsunoko has really low attack stat and to be honest the fact Mothman is a level four is more relevant. So the ideal thing is like, you know, you discard Nessie, Nessie add Jackalope, Jackalope discard itself and then summon this guy out and then you just have an easy way to make Dweller and Dweller is the most unfair card. Um, Zephyros, you know, you can bounce back a danger or what I did a lot was bounce back a field spell and that was like super relevant. Um, just to be able to like do it on turn three and then activate the field spell again and then get another search, it was just so good. Um, and onto the trap card, or sorry, onto the hand traps, I ran uh, three Nibiru and three impermanence. Impermanence was amazing. Nibiru was like very good, but I could see other people running more dangers or desires over Nibiru, but I think the deck can just lose going second if your opponent dwellers you. So I think I wanted another option against other tier element builds and just other random decks that like Nib is very good against. Against tier, it was whatever, but against tri Brigade Sprite, it was like insane because I couldn't nib them on their turn, but I popped their revolt on my turn and then they had to chain the revolt, they summoned five times and they had no monster negate, so I nibbed them. And then that just wouldn't be the game because then their board's cleared and then you just big collide of heart, shuffle back the nib token, attack for game. Simple. So that is the main deck. Uh, we can go off now to the fusion deck, our extra deck. So we ran seven fusions, so two Kikalos. So that's just necessary for like Kikalos to summon another Kikalos, you know, shuffle that back, summon the other one um, comes up and obviously you have to run two or else you're cheating. Uh, one is okay, but um, that's just when extra deck space is tight. I don't think the extra deck space is as tight in such a mid-range version of the deck. Uh, one Kaleido Heart uh, card is insane. Shuffling back is just so good. And then just uh, being able to send the trap to add a monster and summon him out and get a spin is just so good. Mud Dragon is insane, so I often instant fusioned into Mud Dragon, normal summon Kaleido Heart, uh, Kaleido, or sorry, Rhino Heart, Rhino Heart, send the guy, uh, attempt to fuse, and then chain link two, Mud Dragon call Dark, so then they can't, like, impermanence my Kikalos, which is, like, super relevant. And then, after you're done, you can overlay him and make Dweller. So good. And then Garura, the super poly target, as well as uh, Dragos Topalia. This was also a super poly target for me uh, yesterday, which was, like, Phenomenal, it was so good. Um, Dragos to Pelia just doesn't really come up. He's a big body with the field spell. He's like 3200 and that's kind of relevant. And then we have D3S Frog. Uh, so you want to learn about Dumpy? Uh, for the high spirits. And obviously this will go away in Darkwing Blast because, you know, we can just play the big kick Kalos instead. So those were the seven fusions. Um, again, I don't think I'd really change anything here. I might, like, I'd love to run a second one of him just for the funnies, but I don't think you need to because we're running Unicorn in the extra and that kind of deals with the similar issues. For the big links, we ran these two guys. Uh, this 
could have been anything. It just was irrelevant. I ran this in case I got like crooked cooked or the arrival cybers or something like that. But overall, it was meh just because I didn't run into it, but it could come up, but in general it was grand. Uh, Bomber, I prefer Zeroboros for back row matchups, but Bomber is just so good for allowing you to fusion summon and just keep popping your opponent's board. And he's Flame Wingman, which I was reminded of yesterday, which is cool. Uh, cool. So onto the link trees, we played Curious and Unicorn. I didn't summon both all day, and to be honest, since I'm not running like a heavy extender build, I might cut this for like Appaloosa or Zeroboros or anything else because in theory it's cool, but I've just never summoned it. Maybe Access Code Talker actually might be the play, so him into Access Code might be pretty good. Uh, onto our Link 2s, we played Dark IP Elf. Didn't summon this all day, but someone summoned it against me to take my kick Halo, so it didn't matter because I dwelled them, so ha ha ha. But yeah, you have to run it. Summon these a lot, this card is insane, Merle is just insane, so yeah. Definitely wouldn't change anything there. And then obviously, one Abyss Dweller probably will be banned soon. Card is unfair and too easy to access and just shuts off so many things. So that's the extra. Onto the side, um, we ran the Gamma package, which every time I went second, I would either side out the most of the Danger Engine, um, or Zephyros, or the Brandon High Spares package, depending on how many going second cars I was siding in. And perfect all day, because then you're running like Gamma, Nib, Havnus, Imperm, and like that's actually a lot of going second cards, and then you've Super Poly as well, so Gamma just came up a lot. I drew Driver once and I lost that game, but I played poorly, so I deserve to lose that game, so fair enough. Gamma's cool, highly recommend. I don't know if I'd main him, but I definitely like siding him. Uh, I ran some time cards. Time only kind of came up once, and then I just, combination, I just played bad, drew poorly, so like these were kind of irrelevant, so they could be anything, but um. Yeah, I don't know if time cards are real now in the likes of a YCS when rounds are 45 minutes, but for the likes of like normal regionals, they're still 40 minutes. So yeah, I was kind of worried, but in general, I just had four side cards I didn't really need, but I liked having the security of having them there, so I don't know if I put them yet. Um, onto some back row hate, I played Feather Duster and Triple Cyclone. So the reason you run like Cyclone over Twin Twister is to out the um, Runic Fountain field spell, because obviously they can just keep protecting it if you go to destroy it. Feather Duster was because like, you know, Red Reboot is banned and you just want to blow out card and like sometimes it's just insane. So yeah, definitely play at least four. And then the deck is a good back row matchup because of the field spell being able to just pop cards and then um, Clydo Hart, yeah, Clydo Hart being able to shuffle back cards every turn is just like super relevant. So yeah, it's a big fan of that. And then I played evenly matched, so like this is also a back row hate card. So you're playing like seven side cards for the back row hate, but against tier element boards, unless they're playing the visa build. And I did play a player who did play the visa build, and I drew two evenly, so they had one negate, but you know, double evenly gets around that one negate. Still lost that game because played badly, but sure look. One came third overall, so still, overall, I recommend this card. <laughs> it's very good into the Chur Elements matchups, and in general, it's just like baits in the gate and just kills back row. So, yeah, big fan of that. And overall, what I would change is maybe the time cards, depending, maybe for the YCS, but for another regional, no. Probably cut this and this for like something more relevant. So, Maybe a Zeroboros, or instead of Zeroboros, we run access code. I still like the security of having this because I just don't want to get scummed by like an unoutable monster, and that's just so sad. And yeah, then from the main deck perspective, I don't know if I change much. I'd like to run more dangers, but I kind of like the hand trap lineup of Nib, Imperm, Havnus, and then like give your super poly for a going second card. And just having an even 40 makes your mills more consistent. But uh, again, you play the deck super mid-range, you end on Elf IP, Dweller, Sulek, or you end on, often I ended on Kikalo, Sulek, Super Poly, and maybe an Imperm, or Nibiru, and that was like enough to beat my opponent because they think the board is very unassuming, but then, or even if you have happiness in hand, it just like explodes on their turn. And that's kind of like what I like doing with the deck. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, shout out to my friends for lending me some cards. <laughs> and yeah, uh, overall, I had a good time and uh, happy with the result.